This was fun. Thank you so much. I'm just curious about the next question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hello, 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 hello. My name is Michi, Michi Zambia's sweetheart. So I'm a media personality, so I do TV, I do radio. I'm a voicepreneur, I use my voice for ads and documentaries and all that stuff. Um, also, I'm a philanthropist. Ew, it sounded like such a big deal, <laughs> but uh, anywho, I, oh, I run an NGO called Michi and Friends Foundation for Children. I am an, an, an aunt, I'm a daughter, I'm a granddaughter, I'm a friend, I'm a really good friend. I'm an even better girlfriend, but hey, there's a story for another day. So I wear a lot of hats, but hey, it's all fun, I am who I am. And this is Not So Secret. I'm a little bit scared, but let's get to the questions. We'll try and be as truthful as possible. Okay, question one. Ha, ha, ha. Which meal is your favorite? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Breakfast. Really important. How old were you when you started working? Uh, define working. So I was, I think I had like my first, first job job, like proper actual job job when I was 20. Yeah, I worked for National Airports Corporations. So that was my first job, 20. What is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? Favorite sport, favorite game or sport to watch and play? I like to watch football because Cristiano Ronaldo. I like to watch swimming because it's water. I like to watch and can you, you can't say you play swimming, but yeah, swimming is a sport that I love to watch and participate in, for lack of a better term. Do you think any kind of afterlife exists? Yes, I'm Christian, so I do believe that an afterlife exists. I am trying my best to go to heaven, but TikTok sometimes gets in the way of that. But yeah, we'll get there. What's your favorite thing about your current job? My favorite thing about my current job is I get to do a lot of fun things, i.e. No, such as, yes, i.e. being here on Not So Secret. This is really fun. So I get to meet a lot of people. I get to do a lot of fun things. And it just kind of feels like you're having fun. I mean, what job lets you go to work and just play music all day? That's what I do, so it's pretty fun. What is your biggest irrational fear? My biggest irrational fear? Snakes, but it's not irrational, is it? But I am terrified of snakes. Even saying the word, I'm afraid. Super afraid. What's the last thing you do at night? Check my phone. I'm trying to change that because it's not healthy. Something about the blue light and then the sensory nerves and then, yeah, I'm trying to sound smart, but I, I'm probably not making sense because I can't remember exactly what it means. But anywho, I do check my phone as the last thing. So it's phone and I literally even fall asleep while on my phone. So some people think I'm online on WhatsApp and I'm not responding and then that turns into a big fight in the morning. Men. Um, if you could teach any grade or subject, what would it be? If you could teach any grade or subject, what would it be? I think something on like speech, like you know, how to talk or how to carry yourself. That would be really fun. I actually do teach a little bit of that to people that are interested. It's not free though. Next question, how often do you look at your phone every day? <laughs> I'm not addicted to my phone, let's start there, okay? It's not an addiction, but because of the work that I do, I constantly need to know what people are talking about, what's trending in the news, um, I need to check my schedule, I need to post because it's part of work, so I'm really not... I'm on my phone probably... I checked the stats not too long ago, it was shockingly high, but I think I would say like in total aggregatively, is that a word? Like aggregate in total together, I think I spend like three hours of 24 hours on my phone. Which is not so bad, is it? <laughs> what is the best advantage to being really tall? <laughs> you can see everyone's head. <laughs> I don't know. 
disadvantage to being really tall? Um, people just find you intimidating and you can use that to your advantage. You can play around with it because the moment you open your mouth, it's even worse for them. They're like, oh, first of all, you're tall. And then now you're not even shy. And by the way, I'm really shy. I speak as a form of dealing with my shyness. It's a shyness mechanism. It's the weirdest thing, but yeah, the best advantage of being really tall to being really tall is being intimidating in the right situations. How long of a consecutive time have you spent in a car? Um, I think on my way to Kawambwa. Yeah, they don't call me Zambia Sweetheart for nothing. Like, I've been on the road. So I was six years old when my dad lived in Kawambwa, and I think we were in a car for like 18 hours. Like it's really, really far. So I think, yeah, 18 hours. How do you, what do you do to keep fit? I try to work out. It fails more times than not. But um, I eat, I, here's, here's the thing, here's what I find, so I don't even know if it's being fit really, but here's what I've found works for me. Like I love to eat and I eat a lot, but then I eat like in controlled portions. So I eat like maybe six times a day when the economy allows. I'll eat like six times a day, but then the portions are like really small. So then that, um, so then my metabolism rate is like really fast because it's always breaking down food that's coming in. As opposed to keeping eating like larger meals and then spacing them out and then your metabolism becomes slow and then your body doesn't break down food the way it's supposed to. I'm getting scientific but you get the point. So yeah, a little bit of working out when I can but mostly it's just portion control. Would you rather someone be honest and hurt your feelings or lie to protect them? Honesty is the best policy. I'll cry, I'll get over it, but at least you're honest. Lusaka men, might be nice to try. What activity instantly calms you? What activity instantly calms me? Um, talking, is talking an activity? Talking to my mom, like my mom is a very calming, Person. Like I speak calmly, I've got a calm voice, but my mom is like calm all over, like calm aura, calm voice, everything. So I think, yeah, talking to my mom instantly calms me, unless it's I've done something problematic, which is very rare to be honest. Have you ever had a side hustle or considered having one? Yes, I have had side hustles because I believe in multiple streams of income. I've always had a side hustle in uni for example i used to sell cosmetics so nail polishes um, lipsticks so that was my side hustle i got into network marketing forever living it's a painful story but i did um yeah i've always had a side hustle right now my side hustle is which one i don't even know which one to pick as the main job which one's the side hustle Perhaps like model coaching, model training. Yeah, that's a side hustle, right? Would you rather go to a comedy club or dance club? I cannot dance, but I love to dance. But I love to laugh. So it depends on the day and depends on the mood, really. Comedy club or dance club. But because I care about embarrassing myself, probably comedy club, because ish. When you can't dance and then you're long, it's the worst combination. If you could choose your nickname, what, what would it be? If I could choose my nickname, what would it be? I think Sunshine. You already call me Sunshine, so Sunshine. I would choose Sunshine. What's your favorite quote from a TV show, movie, or book? So, The Matrix Trilogy is like my favorite movie. Like second favorite after Troy slash Gladiator. But anyway, so there's this line in Matrix, 
um, Reloaded, I think. No, Revolution. So what had happened was uh, Neo was lost, right? So he was trying to find his way back to the actual, you know, Matrix is confusing. But anyway, he was trying to find his way back. He was lost. So he meets the system that's in the form of an Asian man. And then um, the Asian man talks about love. Now, because the actual movie, they're like computer programs. And then he was speaking about love, so that confused Neo. And then he defined love as... Love is the word. Yeah? Na lava. That happens a lot, actually. Like, something will come and then it will completely go. But there's a quote there. It's about love, you guys. Like, look for it. Search for it on YouTube. It's beautiful. That's like one of my favorite quotes. Do not understand. I just have never heard a program speak of love. It is a human emotion. No, it is a word. What matters is the connection the word implies. But another quote that I love is from Troy, when Achilles was um, hyping up his men to go and take over Shanshani, and then he says, um, out there lies immortality. Take it, it's yours. <sighs> You know what's there, waiting, beyond that beach. Immortality! Shake it! It's yours! That's what I do every day, by the way. Like, I watch that clip just to get me in the mood, in the zone. Like, let's go and win today. So shout out to Brad Pitt as Achilles in Troy. Okay, next question. What store do you shop at the most? What store do I shop at the most? Pick and pay for food. <laughs> but store, okay, let's talk about clothes. Anything in North Mead. Like, I, I'm not a shopper. I don't like shopping, but I have to shop. Yeah. So anything in within North Mead, because it's like after work, I just, I like to do what's easy for me. So North Mead boutiques, those are my guys. Um, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Nishima and fish and impa. Did I understand the question? That's a, that's a meal. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Shima fish impa, or shima fish pisashi, or shima fish impa and mushroom. What is the first thing you notice about the opposite sex? Shoes. I've never really known why. Like, it's just the first thing. Like, I see a guy and I'm just like, shoes and belt. It's, yeah, yeah. Shoes, shoes. If you could disinvent one thing, what would it be? Mathematics as a course or a subject? Mm -mm. I would undo that one in a heartbeat. Caused me a lot of stress, unnecessary drama, math. Yeah, mathematics. Uh, what do you get every time you go gro grocery shopping? Jelly dots. I have a sweet tooth. Have you ever had a secret admirer? Yes, I have had a secret admirer before. This secret admirer actually went as far as every year. Well, this year he didn't do it, whoever he or she is. Every year on my birthday, um, I will receive like a package and it will be through FedEx or whatever, like through a courier company. So um, the last gift that I got were three bottles of perfume, a huge bouquet of roses, um, multiple chocolate brands. Um, what else was in that package? A card. All it said was from Santa. It always only says from Santa. But then the awkward conversation is you receive. Kaka, it's your birthday. Mama, send off one more. Thank you. And he was like, for what? Like the gift. I didn't send you anything. Then I thought he was like playing around. I'm like, Psh, come on, you did. And he came through, checked, and he was like, yeah, you got stuff, but it's not from me. And you to convince someone that, yeah, someone sent all of this, but I don't know who they are. Like, so that person sent that. In the past, they had sent me like a cute black leather jacket. But then the weird thing is I can't even send it back because I don't know where they're from. So it's, so I do have a, maybe he's not 
he, he doesn't admire anymore seeing as this year Dololo. But anyway, <laughs> yes, I have. What sound do I love? What sound do I love? I love the sound of nothing. <laughs> it's the best sound. But uh, music, the music that I love, R&B, um, dance hall. So yeah, did like dance hall bass or drums or beats. I like that sound. I love that sound, those sounds. Describe, use, describe your life using one word. My life using one word is... Adventurous. Because I never know what's going to come. Like, I don't plan any of this. I wish I could be that motivational person that says, this, I had the dream, I've always seen, and this has been the plan. But literally, it's just like, hey, we wake up, we take it, we take it as it comes. So, yeah. I would say adventurous. If you could talk to the president, what would you talk about? I have talked to the president. Um, what did we talk about? We talked about me possibly interviewing him for something. But what I would talk about with the president is music, like just a chill conversation. I feel like you can find out a lot about someone based off of their music tastes, their favorite songs. It's like you get a different side to someone. So I would love to talk about something chilled like music and food, you know? And then how he met the first lady, like their love story. I would like that. Yeah, so something very chill. What line should someone never cross with you? Um, what line should someone never cross with me? Don't. What line should someone never cross with me? Um, don't be, don't have like ill intentions around me. Like don't, no bad vibes. Don't bring that over here. Yeah. Respect my boundaries, my personal space. Yeah. I want to say, I'm inclined to say don't make me mad, but yeah, I think that if that makes sense. On a scale of one to 10, how cool are you? I can't answer this one because the real me. I'm a nerd, by the way. I don't know if that ever comes out, but. So cool isn't what I really am. So um, maybe I would say inwardly, the way I know myself, I'm like a three. But outwardly, I don't know, maybe an eight, nine. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Are you into podcasts or do you only listen to music? I am into podcasts. Uh, my favorite podcast is Oprah Winfrey's Sunday Soul Sessions. Soul Sessions Sunday. So these are little clips from interviews she's had with different people and they're really inspiring because they dig very deep into humanity, into life as a whole. So yeah, that's one of my favorite Podcast. I also like to listen to uh, Deepak Chopra. He's got a pretty awesome podcast as well. Just to keep 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 you zen. Because I don't like drama, so I like a very quiet, peaceful mind. It's not always that way. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? A giraffe. Like, it is what it is. I mean... Um, first of all, I used to be teased, I used to be called giraffe and I would get offended by it, but then the older I grew, the more I was like, ah, they're not wrong. I mean, I'm really tall, but then also I admire the other qualities of a giraffe because a giraffe doesn't bother itself about what's happening here. A giraffe is just like, I'm above y'all. Y'all better look up to me if you want to see me. You know what I mean? So yeah, I would describe myself as a giraffe. Alright, so I got to answer the questions. Thankfully, they were not so, because I was like, I started getting like a little bit hot. I was wondering like, how deep are these questions going to get? But I had so much fun. I would probably have answered them differently if I had more time, kind of make myself seem a little bit more sharp. But hey, it has happened. I had fun. Thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Michi Zambia Sweetheart, and I love you if you're a good person. And this has been Not So Secret. Yay!